In this video, I want to show you how to properly run our trailers with lift gates. I'm going to show you two examples, a trailer with a PAL finger lift gate on it and one with a max on. But the principle is the same. I'm going to walk through both of them with you so that you feel comfortable in knowing how they work. But the principles I'm going to do are going to be identical for both, even though they look different. So we're going to walk through a few steps here that are very important. We're going to talk about what you need to do before you go, some things you need to know while you're driving down the road and some things about what to do at each delivery. So before you ever leave with one of these lift gate loads, you need to make sure you've got a good charging cable and make sure your lift gate works and make sure your batteries are charged. So the charging cable, this is the charging cable on this trailer. Notice your seven way is not your charging cable. This is either a single prong or dual prong charger, plugs into a different spot on the truck you know, again, there's your seven way, there's a charger. Make sure you have a good charging cable. When you're at the shop each time, get some dielectric grease sprayed on there so you always have a good connection and you can know you're charging. Second thing, let's walk down here. You need to always check your battery voltage. Ah, shoot, sorry, this thing is weird. Kind of can get it that way, right? That's doesn't love the screen. It says 13.1. If it's below 12, that's not a good sign. Okay, batteries are critical to this working well. So make sure you check your battery voltage. If they're below 12, we don't even wanna operate the lift gate. While you are driving down the road, you are always gonna have that power plug plugged in. You need to have it in at all times. It takes a long time to charge the batteries. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna completely test this lift gate before we leave the yard, because if there's any problems, we wanna find them in the yard, not when we are out and about on the road. So I'm gonna walk you through the pal finger version of what we're gonna do here. So whenever you use the lift gate, you're gonna do this test before you leave with it, but also at each stop, you're gonna do this test. Turn it on, there's the power switch. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna come down just a little bit, just a couple inches. And then we're gonna go up. What we're doing here, it can go down with gravity. So if it didn't have any power or fluid, it would still go down. What we're testing is that it's working. It can go back up. This way, if there was a problem, it didn't go back up. It's not on the ground. You could drive to a repair shop if you needed to. Next thing we're gonna do, slide out a little bit. Just a couple inches, slide back in. Same thing. If there was an issue, <coughs> you haven't slid it all the way back out, you could still drive to a repair shop, okay? So we've tested that it is at least going up and down and in and out a little bit. Now I'm gonna slide it all the way out. We're gonna take this thing all the way out and all the way up to make sure everything's working. As I'm doing this, watch the cables to make sure that nothing is getting snagged or caught on anything. One time we had a guy had the cable wrapped around here, didn't know, it pulled his battery cables out, so of course it wouldn't work after that. So we've got it all the way out. I'm gonna open this up really quick. And now that it's out, I wanna take it all the way up. I'm gonna lift it all the way up. Now, when you take these all the way up, depending on how the lift gate was installed and adjusted, it may or it may not match up perfectly with the floor of your trailer. So on this particular one, even though my doors are closed, I can tell this is out a little bit. Once I get it to the perfect level, I'll probably have to slide it in just an inch or two to get it to meet perfectly flush with the floor. But this is good. Everything went up all the way. We're liking what we see. And then the last thing you wanna do before leaving the yard is I want you to go all the way down to the ground finally. This is where we finally go all the way down because we've tested all other functions to make sure, in theory, the lift gate is doing everything else right. With a pal finger, it's down. I'm still holding the down switch and then it will auto tilt to help me unload. You see how it's doing that? Now when I'm making my deliveries, it is a nice roll off there. So to do that, I just kept holding the down switch, even though it went all the way down and then stopped, keep holding it down and then it will auto tilt. Now when I go back up, it should auto tilt up and out of that. And then once it's level, it starts going back up on its own. So that's a full testing the lift gate out. 
Like I say, you gotta do that before you leave the yard to find any potential issues. And you're gonna do that at each stop to make sure that nothing has happened while you're out and about, okay? Now to bring this all back in, let me fold this in and put it away. Let's talk about what those steps are. Now I'm gonna slide it all the way in. Some of them shake a little bit when they do this. If they do shake, just let us know so we know to put some dry lubricant in there. Take it all the way in until it stops. Lift it up. And you don't wanna smash it, but you do wanna put some pressure so that this isn't dancing while you're going down the road. It kind of clamps that down. Don't forget to turn it off. If you leave it on, you'll drain your batteries. And now you're properly stored. After making a delivery, everything's put away the way it should be. One other thing I want to point out is each day that you drive, even if you're not making a delivery, I want you to check your voltage because we want to make sure the voltage is up all the way. So for example, it's now down to 12.6 after just using it like that. So now you're going to drive to your next delivery. The charging cable being plugged in is going to charge it back up. But each day you're driving out there, make sure your voltage is good. Because if you see declining voltage as you're driving down the road, there's something wrong with the charging cable. There's something else going on. And we can get to a repair shop and get that caught in good time rather than finding it out last minute. The last thing we're going to point out is what do we do if there is an issue? Well, I'm not expecting you to be a mechanic, but there are a couple things you can do that might make it so we can find out a few bit of information. So I wanna show you that. This is the battery box. It had a bolt in it. I took it out so that we could open it up. If there's issues, the first thing we do is go to the batteries. There is a breaker right here. Okay, you see this? If say everything stopped working, I would be wondering if this was out. So right now it's in. If you see it like that, flipped out, that means there's not gonna be any power. If we went to go use it right now, it wouldn't work. Now power is restored. And then other things I'd ask you to do is take a glance at your power cables for me. Is anything super corroded? Does anything look really bad? Most of the times, if there's a problem, it is a power problem. And so we look in the battery box and then we trace the cables and we follow them all the way over and all the way back to the lift gate, looking for any issues in the cables because power is the number one issue. You can kind of help figure things out just a little bit just by knowing where these things are. Okay, that's a Pal Finger lift gate. Well, I hope you found this video really helpful. If you want to, click right down in here. This is the subscribe button. That'll give you more of our helpful videos. And then after that, come over here and click here for more of our videos. Remember, truck drivers are American heroes. Let's make truck drivers great again and keep on trucking.